cattle, you get it from a, a source uh, where somebody just butchers their cattle and gives us some. So just run it through the blender quick, pour it into ketchup bottles. I just buy these for about a dollar at uh, Walmart or Dollar Tree. And then you can stick it in the freezer and then you'll just need to pull it out a day or two before you're planning on doing uh, any blood tracking work. So again, pour it into ketchup bottles after you blend it. Blending it will help so that you get rid of the, the decoy or the coagulation that may have already occurred once you originally got the blood. And then you can put it in these bottles and just thaw these one at a time as you need them. Very handy. You'll also want to have your own blood tracking kit. For the years I've used just this Cabela's game belt. I really like it because it's got this back pocket where I can carry a deer hide with me because we're always going to place a deer hide at the end of the track so the dog knows that the track is complete. Um, and then I like that it's got pockets too. So in one pocket I've always got cotton balls with me in testing and in actual hunting situations. I use the cotton balls to drop them as I see blood so that if I ever lose the track or feel like the dog's off I can bring them back to last blood. I've also got just a, a piece of uh, paper towel or some sort of wet wipe I always bring as I'm laying blood because inevitably the ketchup bottles leak a little bit. And then finally in my other pocket, I always have orange clothespins. So you can either buy them orange or you could buy just cheap ones and paint them yourself. Highly recommend the orange color. It makes them so much easier to see. And once you get into doing blood tracks in the forest, it'll make it a lot easier for you to mark where your trail is. Since we're laying blood today in the snow, it'll be really obvious where this track is. This is very similar to laying a drag for your dog in that we want to make sure that we're laying the track downwind so the pup is forced to put his nose down and track the blood as opposed to air scenting the blood. Um, and then we're probably going to keep this really short, maybe 30 yards, maybe one gentle curve in it since this will be Enzo's first time ever on blood. And then we'll make sure that we've got that deer at the end. The one other thing that you'll always want to make sure that you have with you is a very special treat. Something that your puppy absolutely loves to eat that you can feed him once he's successfully found the deer hide. So in this case, I've got some string cheese with me. I have yet to meet a dog who doesn't love cheese. Um, I've also got some uh, bacon strips in my pocket too. So use whatever you think will work to motivate your puppy. Once I get to older dogs, I usually use canned dog food a special treat they don't usually get. So make it be something they don't usually get anywhere else and they're really excited about it. All right, so I'm gonna leave my blood tracking lead here because I'm gonna use it when I come back with the dog. I don't need to carry it with me, but we'll go ahead and start laying this track. So as I've mentioned, I just use ketchup bottles, so I'm laying with the drip method. You'll notice when you see BGPs listed that they'll either say drip or the dab method. Dab method is where they have a little bucket full of blood. They've got a stick with a sponge on the end of it. They'll dip the sponge in the blood, and then every other step, the judge will just place the sponge on the ground to make a little mark with blood. Um, I prefer just training with the drip method because it's a lot easier for me with just one hand. I can just drip a little bit of blood out of the bottle every couple of steps. And there's a number of other bottles you can use too. This is just the cheapest and easiest. So otherwise, like I said, we'll lay it very similar to the drag work we've already been doing. I'll make sure that once I lay it, I'll drop the deer hide at the end to mark the end. And then I will make a wide arc so that I don't muddy up the track with my own scent. I'll head back to the truck to get Enzo and then we'll bring him back and start him on the track. We'll make a, a few extra drops of blood to mark the beginning here. So it, it is nice training in the snow because it's so easy to see the blood. And we'll make sure we've got our line. And I'm just going to drip every other step.
really like uh, a lot of other things where if you can repeat it again right away, it's easier to solidify the dog's head. So we're gonna go ahead and put Enzo away. We're gonna lay another blood track here right away and see if he'll stick to that blood a little closer now that he understands that it's going to lead to a deer hide. Um, at this early stage too, we're laying the blood and just working the pump on it. You know, five minutes later, we're not really aging the blood. You can age it for puppies. I mean, they're capable of doing anything, uh, even like a half hour, maybe even an hour as they get going. But for now, we want to make it easy so we can be successful. And then as we do more of these, we'll of course increase both the distance of the blood track and uh, the longer we'll age it too. So it's more of a challenge for him to pick up that scent. Start a young dog blood tracking for the first time. I just immediately lay two to three blood tracks, assuming that it will take some repetition to get the dog there. So now we're ready to start Enzo on his second blood track ever. We're doing it in quick succession.
wasn't super interested in it. And then finally there at the very end, he picked up the blood again, tracked it really nicely, and then just overshot the deer hide by just a bit. So I wanted to wait till he acknowledged that the deer hide was here before praising him and giving him his reward. But he did come back and do that. So uh, that's, I would say, somewhat typical of first, pup, first time tracking for puppies. A lot of them do it better. Some of them are gonna do it worse. But again, this is a game of repetition. You just need to keep laying short blood tracks with the puppy so that they understand that blood leads to deer hide, which leads to extra special treat. And right now he's trying to eat some of the blood. I'm just gonna let him. I want him fired up about blood.